Hey everyone, Henry Steele here. In this video, I wanted to show you really quickly how I scale a chart now. I actually use, I used to use a method with the background grid right there. You can turn that grid on and off. And I've actually done a video like three or four years ago explaining how I did that, but now I don't do that. I use a simpler method that's actually more accurate. And all I do is draw a box on the chart. And to do so, I use two horizontal lines and then two vertical lines to draw the four sides to my box. Now, this is a Euro US dollar one hour chart. And I usually scale a one hour chart for one hour to equal one pip. And to do that, all you have to do is set the price levels of your two horizontal lines. And I'll use 1.1250 here. And then I will go. 10 pips higher, which is 1.1260. So there's a difference of 10 pips right here. And then I'll just make a difference of 10 hours for the candles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that makes this box right here a one by one box. If you draw an angle like this from the bottom corner, bottom left corner of the box, so the angle crosses the top right corner of the box, this angle right here moves up at the rate of one pip for every hour. So this is actually a one by one angle right here. It's not scaled, the chart's not scaled, so the angle doesn't go up at 45 degrees, but it is a one by one angle. Now, if you want the angle to actually match a 45 degree angle, all you have to do is put a 45 degree angle into the same position, there we go, 45 degrees, and then you right click on the chart, go to properties, click on the common tab and click scale fix, and that will enable you to keep the scale whatever you set it at, and also it will enable you to set the scale. Once you've clicked on scale fix, you come over to the vertical scale, which is the price scale, and then you drag the chart so that our 45 degree angle matches this box. So now this 45 degree angle moves up at the rate of one pip for every hour. So now the chart is scaled one to one, the entire chart scaled one to one. So every time you draw a 45 degree angle, you're going to draw a one by one angle on this chart. So if you're going to actually draw shapes on a chart, for instance, boxes, squares, uh, triangles, um, pentagons, all kinds of different shapes you can draw on the chart. You want, it, you want the chart squared so that the whole entire chart is set for one pip equals one hour or one pip equals two hours or however you want it scaled, but it needs to be set at a certain scale like that. If you're just going to draw angles, like a one by one angle, a one by two angle, and so forth, like traditional GAN angles, you don't actually have to scale the entire chart. You just have to scale the individual angle. 